I think the poor people of Scotland would be much better off with a Conservative government. Ditto Wales. I think you do damage to the Scottish economy. Um, you and I will continue disputing on matters of party politics. When Mrs. Sturgeon says Boris Johnson is the greatest leader this country has ever had, I, I will start saying nice things about the Scottish yes. government. Uh, one of the governments in this case, the uh, Scottish government, wanted to use an exclusion uh, under the uh, UKIM Act, uh, which enables them to uh, do, in fairness, broadly similar to sorts of things in terms of um, reducing single-use plastics um, to what the UK government uh, intends to do. Um, uh, but uh, So that is a, a clear instance of um, a framework being used using the process that we set up for exclusions from the uh, UK Act, where the UK government has, from our point of view, signed off on it and it now needs to be agreed by uh, all four governments, at which point it, it would become an exclusion and uh, they would be able to go ahead. So if someone, so that's the hold up with any new ones coming forward? Uh, t typically where there's a hold up it will be because one of the governments hasn't cleared it yet. If you said that you're waiting for Northern Ireland and Northern Ireland's in a situation of stasis, no more can be agreed. <coughs> that, that will be a hold-up for remaining ones, yeah. yeah. But a public common procurement policy seems to be being developed outside of the framework between, as you said, all the administrations minus um, Scotland. I mean, Scotland has indicated it would like to remain aligned to the EU, as is their sensible right. Um, but my understanding is that now the discussions on the bill continue out with of the common framework. So Scotland is excluded from hearing those arguments and discussions and those rationales, which might still be useful in the Scottish administration coming to views on how it would want to interlink um, uh, with a, a bill. Well, the Scottish Government is aware that the bill is being created. And has yes, everyone's not aware of that. Not, I'm aware of but, it as well. It's, it's detail. But it's decided not to be part of it. So, so it's decided that it wishes, as, as you said, though I'd quibble over the word sensibly, uh, to maintain um, the EU proposal for um, procurement. Uh, the US Government has made decisions not to sign up to climate change agreements. They still remain part of the discussions and therefore were able to join at later stages when they and, saw it was agreeable the, to them. And the framework in, meetings... In, 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 in negotiations, you continue to include other partners so and the, that... And the framework meetings that. take place. Is there any other um, framework where there is a dual process where we have legislation only including some and a framework that includes all? to think of whether there's a good, a good analogous thing that's happened since they're created. I mean, or is this a kind of sui generis, one of its kind situation? I'm trying to think of examples where we're legislated. Do you envisage that there could be a situation where Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales get together and say, we want to create a joint piece of legislation and the UK government they, they can don't, be... They don't create joint pieces of legislation. Well, they legislate individually for their areas. Only um, the UK Parliament legislates for the country as a whole. They, so that, that, they couldn't coordinate a piece it, it, of work If it doesn't themselves. involve Her Majesty's Government, but they can, of course, coordinate their policies and the frameworks will provide a framework for doing that. OK, thank you. Thank you. And surely, at least in public... I've, I, you can pretend to be respectful no, no, of the Scottish Government. No, because it's led by an SNP um, administration that I think is not in What's the interests of yeah. the people of Scotland. I think you do damage to the Scottish economy. I think you've harmed the education. The health service <coughs> results in Scotland are much worse than those in England. I think the poor people of Scotland would be much better off with a Conservative Government. Ditto Wales. Of course I think that. But that doesn't mean that on um, whether we have a procurement policy that helps small and medium-sized enterprises or not, we can't have a rational discussion. I've never thought it's difficult to differentiate between um, administrative matters uh, and the facts of political life. Well, we're talking about procurement here. If, if you were to change the rules or UK companies procuring from Russia, the question stands, would the devolved powers be involved in that discussion or would it, not? It, 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 the, the circumstance 
If a developer is procuring from a Russian company that has been sanctioned and it is now not allowed under different law to pay that company because the sanctions prohibit payments to that company, that has an effect on procurement, but it isn't really a matter that's come from procurement. It's a consequence so what, of a different... What, what would happen if there was a disagreement there? But in, in, in the sanctions issue, that is a reserved matter. 